you know, if I kept going down the path that I was going down, if I did not seek help, seek treatment, you know, I honestly, I don't know where I would be. When I got out of the military, I had no support. Um, <laughs> as sad as it sounds, you know, no friends, no family members. Veterans returning without support can often suffer in their relationships, can feel isolated. Often for many veterans, their injuries are invisible and not necessarily something that people understand. When I was in the Navy, they tell you where to be, what to do. But then when you get out, nobody tells you anything. It's the exact opposite. In the civilian world, you have to kind of create your own mission. And if you don't do that, you know, without a vision, people will perish. Well, when I first moved to Portland, I thought it was going to be, I mean, full of adventure, basically. It seemed like a really good, fun place to kind of start fresh, you know what I mean? My life looked pretty good. At least I thought I was kind of handling the transition from military life to civilian life. When the pandemic began, it, it basically removed like what little social interaction I did have, which is something I felt like I was just starting to like rebuild, you know, a sense of community. Many veterans, when they're not able to access support, experience more isolation. When I was at my lowest, you know, I would say that life felt pretty much meaningless. Like, what's the point of getting up out of bed in the morning if there's nothing to reach for, nothing to work for, nothing to strive for? I still got up, did what I had to do, checked all the boxes, but I did not feel like fulfilled on the inside. And I did that for a very long time, you know. Some of the challenges veterans face getting the services they need might be long wait times, accessibility. For many people, the cost of care is prohibitive. So I would say I knew I needed to reach out and get help. Um, there's no way I could afford it by myself. What I love about RVP is it's a way for veterans to be able to access their own care with autonomy. You know, I searched for a provider that met my schedule um, and that was open and accepting clients. And then from there, I reached out personally. The first session itself was very, very challenging. Like I was still very closed up. I did not know how to act in that situation. After I did meet with Sarah for the first time, I felt relieved. I felt like there was kind of like a light at the end of the tunnel. In an ideal world, veterans returning home would be welcomed um, with services and support and community to help them bridge that transition. That's what's good about the Return of Veterans Project is they do have the resources and the tools to help you get you know, back on track, I feel like a little bit easier. It has helped me you know, reestablish like a sense of clarity and purpose and meaning in my life. Donating to RVP gives returning veterans an opportunity to connect and feel seen and take care of their own needs for health and support. I really see the Returning Veterans Project offering hope. You know, you never know what you could accomplish or do in your life. You never know how many lives you could impact um, if you just like live another day. Mm -hmm.